government. But on one hand, as the government is announcing what they say is good news, a number of you have been having to deal with power outages. My colleague, Noble Crosby Annan, is about up and about in a cries joining us right now uh, on zoom to find out exactly what the situation is with many of you who've been experiencing these outages particularly over the weekend crosby talk to us where exactly are you what's been the feedback and sentiment with regards to power supply uh, thus far it does appear crosby cannot hear us right now let's try one more time, but first off, hear from one business owner he's been interacting with uh, over the power supply challenges. Oh, it's not like this. Yeah, it's normal. When the light goes off, like three hours is back. So it's, it's normal. Mm. Yeah. It's not like first. How long ago are you talking about? Oh, previous years. Yeah, previous years. Mm. This time around, when the light is on, at least by two, three hours. Mm. Yeah. So you don't have the long spell. No, so no, 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 no. That's that's not happening. Okay. Not happening. Well, for now, it's okay. It's better mm. than before because for now the light can go off. Within one hour, two hours is back. Okay. So we have the light to do our work. Mm. But before it can go off, with a week like uh, two times a week, three times a week before. But for now, it's okay. So before means what, what time? What period of time? Are you oh, uh, three or four months ago. Okay. Three or four months ago. But for now, there is better. Mm. better. It can go off today. Two, three hours, then it's back. Okay, so for now you're still getting light out, but it is uh, yeah. the duration is shorter. It's short. So maybe the light goes off maybe around 9 a.m. It comes back like 12, yeah. 12 noon. It, it's working. Yeah. Okay. But the problem is that mm -hmm. uh, they don't the information. You have to inform them before the light goes. Okay. You understand? If they, are, if, they, if they want to off the light, oh, so today the light will go off. You will spend your transportation and come and sit down, wasting all the time. You are getting the transportation back to your various houses and various places. Some business owner speaking to my colleague Noble Crosby and let's go to him right now, find out exactly where he is. Uh, Crosby, where are you? What's it like at this particular point? Still a challenge of Noble Crosby and being able to hear us. But uh, let's just try and run you through the, the latest that's been coming from the quarters of government in relation to these uh, energy sector debts and the attempts to renegotiate them. And what we know, based off on that press address as addressed by the finance minister, is that a number of these power purchase agreements uh, six of them, uh, we understand. Some, they've agreed uh, to renegotiate. Others are waiting. Let's try and run you through that, which is going to come up on your screen right now. we we'll start off with AXA Power, where government uh, says that they've agreed terms with them to renegotiate uh, the debt. Same as Senate Power, uh, they've agreed uh, renegotiation with them. Uh, with regards to Amandi Power, uh, they've agreed, but it's awaiting parliamentary approval. Same for Send Power as well. Uh, there's an agreement on the table, but requires some parliamentary approval. Then uh, Car Power Ship, uh, they negotiation ongoing because of uh, what government says is what strong arm tactics being deployed. And then Sunan Asogli, who the government has accused of bad faith, but says that has returned to the negotiation table uh, for a conversation. Perhaps we'll try one more time with my colleague, Noble Crosbyana, and to get the very latest from him uh, in relation to what you have been telling us uh, is the situation with power supply. Crosby, uh, hopefully you can hear me this time around. Exactly where are you? What have the people there been telling you? Right, Eric. So you know that for the past uh, few weeks, there have been complaints about uh, power outages recently. Uh, in the couple of days that have gone by, people have been documenting their frustrations, mainly 
uh, on social media how uh, load shedding or doing so is impacting them. Right now, I'm around uh, Nima and I've been engaging some business owners and businesses within uh, this enclave that rely or depend heavily on electricity. What they're telling me is that comparatively, if you're comparing the happenings right now to how the situation was uh, months ago or years ago, this is way better, but it does not change the fact that load is still being shared. They think that, well, some think that Dumso is back in its full force, a bit not the same as it was some years ago. Their concern, however, is that governments or officials are not communicating to them when they are lied to be taken, so they'll be uh, prepared uh, properly. But there are those who are also saying that Dumso is not back, and whatever is happening is in the best interest of businesses, of homeowners, and all of that. As government is doing its best to ensure that we have stable power going into the 2024 elections and beyond, Eric. Right then, Crosby, uh, many thanks for all those details. That's my colleague, Noble Crosby Annan, uh, providing details there for us. A number of you sharing thoughts as with regards to the power situation. But we'll stay with the finance minister a while longer, Kimini.